everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing the last quarter of 2018, which would have been three months, really, no, October, November, December, in the live trading room, advanced trader tracking. Total, last day of the year here for me, 1221, 151,654. So overall, when you decide that you want to do this and you really want to get serious about it and you want to take an advanced risk, you can really make a lot of money trading the market. And it, the, the irony is that this is mostly fast moves. Now, there were occasionally, occasionally trades that took longer. But for the most part, we trade in the morning. We look for trades and setups in the morning right into the open between 9.30 and 10. That is what I'm an expert at doing. So you do not have to trade and sit all day at your desk, absolutely not, between 9.30 and 4 if you want to do this. Gaps set up early, and they make big moves, and they make fast moves. If you'd like more information to learn what I do, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. 2019 is going to be a great year to day trade the market and it's going to be a great year to day trade in the stocks with show live trading room i've been on my game people and i said that earlier i said i actually believe that being on uh, national television has improved my overall read on the gap qualifying it picking it focus the calling the entries i mean everything that i've done this year and I, as truly i believe that i've been so focused because I've been on TV. So the room is happy, I'm happy, it's been a great year. Um, we're just gonna go forward into 2019 and continue to do everything I've been doing and more. So here's October, all the trades we called from the beginning of October. So again, these three months, October, November were earnings season, December was not, you had a few earnings, but mostly in the busy time, it's earnings, when it's earnings season, you have more gaps. October first day off, S FIX was the second. That was a nice winner. Cenex was a winner on the third. No trades in the fourth. Cost was a huge one on the fifth. Closed for the holiday on the eighth. And KR was a little baby one on the ninth. Tenth, Fast was a loser. Q's were a winner. Spy was a loser on the eleventh. And then the second trade it required a retake was a winner. Sometimes you have to have a retake. We review that in the class. 10, 12, no trades. 10, 15, no trades. Q's was a winner on the sixteenth. IBM took again a retake. 17th first trade loser, second one winner, and then a baby one on the 18th. 19 TV day off, 22nd spy was a loser, Apple was a winner, 23rd M, M, M was another one that required a retake, first trade failed, second one worked. T was a winner on the 24th, no trades in 25th, WDC winner on the 26th and 29th TV day off. 30th was ACAM, another retake, but it worked. First trade loser, second trade winner, and DDD was a winner on the 31st. So October was a very good month. Some very big, nice moves in stocks in that month of October. Again, it was earnings season, 16155 Now, November was good too. ECA was break even. Debbie was a loser. Q's was a winner on the first to start it off. Then off of the second, SYY was a winner on the fifth. Car was a loser. Spy was a winner. And Mar was a winner on the sixth. It was an active day. Actually, this was an active week. Usually we focus on one thing a day, but there was a lot going on this week. Seventh, Wazi took two shots, one loser, one winner. Coors was a loser, unfortunately, I remember that one. Spy was a winner, and Hughes was a winner on the seventh. Those were nice calls. The eighth, Win was a loser, CTRP was a winner, Yelp was a loser, and then CTP were a big winner on the second day down on the ninth. Close for the holiday on the twelfth, TSM was a winner on the thirteenth, Spy was a loser, M was a good one on the fourteenth. NTAP was the winner on the 15th, NVIDIA, loser, and JWN winner on the 16th. And then to close out the last week of the month of November, NVIDIA, again, solid winner. Close for the holiday for Thanksgiving. SPY, just a loser on the 27th. 28th, CHS was a winner. TIFF was a winner. 29th, EXPR was a loser. TIFF was a winner. TIFF just kept going. And the 30th, SFM was a winner. So totals for November, 54399 and then December started out, no trades on the 3rd. DG was a loser, Cross was a loser, AMAT, big one on the 4th. Market closed on the 5th, that was a weird day, middle of the week. It was a, it was a weird start to the month. And then it, it ended up getting better, actually. SPY was a loser, SPY was a winner. Two retakes, MOMO loser, TIFF was a winner on the 6th, that was an active day. Big, solid, boom, in, out, 11.25, 10th, no trades, SFIX was a nice one, 2010 on the 11th. UA was a really nice mover. 96.60, NVIDIA was a loser on the 12th. TLRD, that was a good one. 10.50 on the 13th. In boom, drop. 
TV Day Off, the 17th, 18th spot was a loser. Cuse was a winner. FDX was a really nice guy. First trade failed. Second trade worked on the 19th. CCL was a loser on the 20th. Twitter was a really good mover, and that just kept going. And actually, CCL was a winner, but then it stopped when you didn't get out the first target, and then it broke late. That went to some ridiculous number, too. So CCL just missed the exit on that, but it really did work. But what are you going to do? Never retook that one. Went to the Twitter. Twitter worked. And then Nike was a long. It's closed out the end of the year, 2018, with a long. There's some irony in that or a sign. 1221. So last day of the year, 37,100 for December. Very, very good period. Very good year. Now, talking about risk, again, you can have beginner risk, you can have advanced risk, and I will be discussing this more in 2019 to help out people with all different sizes accounts. But an advanced trader risk is usually between $1,500 and $2,000. Some of those trades have ads, but that, that gives you an average. And if you want to be in a beginner, then you'd risk a smaller amount. And again, this is something I'm going to be discussing more in 2019 in my teachings and the videos and the emails. Remember, if you want to trade for yourself, you can do it. And I can teach you how in the Golden Gap course. The first class of 2019 is January 12th and 13th, 9 to 5. Class tuition is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. You can also do the trends class and save. Two classes for one, $64.99. Class is online. You can be, again, anywhere in the world and take the class. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. And I'm doing a New Year, New Year special through January 1st. You get the trading room free for a year if you sign up at January 1st, 2019. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to register. This is a great special. You get the whole year free. You get the class in January, you get into the room, you get my calls. It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a great earnings season. Earnings season starts in January, so the first quarter, and we're going to see what 2019 brings. It's going to be a volatile year. I'm telling you, it is, people. It's going to be great. Have a wonderful holiday. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll see everyone in 2019.